What's up everybody so um, today's um, look is how to get this um, flawless holiday look um, for makeup and hair especially for Thanksgiving even though it's coming up next week which I'm so excited but this makeup um, eyeshadow look is inspired from the Urban Decay um, Vice palette that I've showed you in my haul video if you haven't seen it yet please feel free to check it out um, also this um, inspiring hair look um, I've just use um this look like like a lot like for a very long time like for over a year now it's like a nice high ponytail along with my extensions just to make it nice voluminous and not just less hair with nice curls and this little bubble bun that i've been doing it for years um and i added some little small braids to the side and i thought it was really cute for the holidays and i added these cute earrings that i got from claire's which i've been using it I would say for a very short time over the summer and this flawless top that I just got recently um, from H&M that is so so pretty so if you want to get how I do this makeup look for the for the holiday and this fabulous high ponytail hair then just keep on watching to start off I'm going to spray my hair with the it's a tan leave-in treatment which this is the best heat protectant spray to use and then I just brush all the way with my big bristle brush. Now I'm gonna part my hair in half. So obviously I'm gonna start with the bottom, which is the easiest. And I'm just gonna just grab my 32 millimeter new me um, curling wand. And I'm just gonna wrap the barrel in one inch of my hair upside down, away from my face, and then wait a couple seconds, then let it go. And then just roll it up like it's a hot roller and then just clip it in and just repeat the same process from um, the other side as well. Now I'm just going to undo my um, the rest of the hair that I just clipped it up. And I'm just going to start with one side first to finish it off and then just repeat the same process that I just showed you earlier. And then after that, I just um, continue it on the other side. So I'll just fast forward it so you get, you get the idea. up just on the very very top of the the section of the hair I just point my my barrel um, in in horizontal way instead of upside down because it's a lot better to have better results than just upside down for the very top because if you just do that it's gonna come out very funny and you really do not want that and also for the bangs it will also come out very voluminous and way out of your face so just want to give you guys a little heads up so you get the idea
finished, now I'm just going to just hairspray it, and then now we're going to move on to makeup. So for my primer slash BB cream, I'm um, just using the Maybelline Dream Pure and Dream Fresh, both in the color light to medium. And this is a very good BB cream, especially um, just to put um, underneath the foundation or just to leave it by itself. But what I do, I just mix those two together as a good combination mixture for my skin. Now for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match and one is in, and I'm mixing both for in W4 and W6, which is a natural beige and sun beige. So I just um, combine those two together as a good combo for my skin. <laughs> doing the brows. I'm using the Synastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color Soft Brown and using the Brow Duo also by Anastasia in the color Medium Brown. So what I just do, I just fill in my brows with the pencil just to give it like a nice shape and use the Brow Duo um, just to fill it in the brow. For the eye primer, I am using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original, and I just apply this on my eye, and then I use a, um, a brush just to blend everything in. And as you all know, today's palette, I'm using the Urban Decay Vice um, palette, which is brand and the first eyeshadow that I'm using is in the color Undone and I just fill the shadow all over the base of my eye. And then after that I use the, um, the next color which is Downfall just to apply it on the half of my crease. <laughs> which I am this is a beautiful gorge, gorgeous champagne taupe color and I just apply it on the base of my eye just to give like a nice shimmer and then after that I just go back to where I apply the crease which was the color downfall and I apply more of the color undone as well and then for highlight I'm using the color truth which is a gorgeous um, pink pearl um, highlight color which I apply this underneath of my brow And the concealer I'm using today is the Kat Von D in Locket Tattoo Concealer in the color Medium 22. And I just apply it underneath my brat, uh, my eyes, and a little bit in the bridge of my nose. And the next concealer I'm using is that by e.l.f. This is like the highlight and co um, concealer um, product. And for the highlight, I just put it where I applied the concealer from Kat Von D. And then the concealer side, I just apply it on the, on the line and bridge of my nose, on the forehead, and above and the bottom of my lip. And for the first time, I'm using the Beauty Blender Micro Mini um, Blender, which is so adorable. And this really does work, you guys. I'm not even kidding. So I just use the lip, this little sucker just to blend everything out from the concealer and highlight that I just applied. <laughs> Translucent powder, I'm using the Wet n Wild Fergie Edition. I just apply it underneath the, um, over the conceal that I applied underneath my eyes. And then I'm using the NARS Translucent Setting Powder as well, where I also apply the concealer and the highlight earlier. And for you all know, the powder I always use, which is the Bobbi Brown 
Sheer Finish Press Powder in the color Soft Honey. And for bronzer, I'm using the Milani Baked Bronzer in the color Glow, which is a gorgeous, shiny, um, bronzy color. And I just apply it um, on where the side of my cheeks, on the side of my forehead, and a little bit on the bridge of my nose. And I also applied the um, Brow Duo by Anastasia that I applied earlier on my brows as well, um, on the side of my nose. <laughs> Hearts Perfect Flush Brush, which is so cute, and this is in the color Candy Glow. Which for highlight for the bronzer and the blush, I'm using the Wet n Wild Fergie Edition, and this is in the color um, Rose um, Golden Goddess, and the other is Rose Champagne Glow. And you know after that I just use my big fluffy brush just to blend everything out and go back to the micro mini just to blend out the contours that I play on the nose. Now I'm just curling my lashes just to be prepared for um, the mascara I'm going to be using later on. But first I'm using liquid liners. So, um, this one is the Maybelline's Master Precise in the black is black. And I, what I do is just I lined it up just to do the wing. And right after that, I go back to use the Rema London um, Gel Liquid Liner. And I believe it's just black as black. I'm not even sure. But I just um, apply that right, up to, um, right inside the line that I just created. <laughs> For today's liner, I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-In Doubled Eye Pencil. Um, this one, I'm using the color gray first on the um, half of the waterline, and then the other half, I'm using the color Venus. Going back to the Vice palette, I'm using the color Lucky, and I'm applying this on the inner corner where the teardrop is located of the eye. And then after that, I'm using the color Rain on the outer um, corner of my eye, just to add the detail. of my waterline I'm using the same color rain and then I'm applying the, um, the color last thin of the inner corner of my waterline now for lashes um, first I'm going to be applying the it cosmetic tight line which is from waterproof this is like a lash primer to me before applying mascara so what I just do is just apply that first and then after that I use the L'Oreal telescopic mascara um, just to be aware, guys, be very careful with these um, skinny scaros because it could really, really harsh your eyes, especially because that's just what happened to me earlier, which is I had to cut it off on the video because you have no idea, guys. It was really embarrassing. <laughs> false lashes I'm using the Andrea strip lashes in tw the number 21 black and I just you know what I do I just you glue them in you apply it on your lashes and there you go <laughs> brow gel I'm using the Maybelline brow drama in the color soft brown so what I do is I just apply this on my brows and it gives you like a nice depth definer and for lips you know it is I'm using the NYX um, lip primer in the color deep nude and after that for um, lip liner I'm using the MAC in the color world so I'm not using any lipstick today guys it's all about lip liner you know what I'm saying so I just apply this first by lining the lips and then I right up to them I just fill it in just to give like a nice definition color and then right after that that's when your whole makeup 
is complete. back to the hair that you just clipped up earlier so we're just going to take off the clips little by little and once you have um, your nice curls um, for now just massage it as much as you can but just don't let the curl go away because you really do need them seriously <laughs> Now what you are you going to do is you're going to grab like a small section of the hair from the back just to make a little small ponytail and that is where you're going to apply um, your extensions just to make your ponytail nice um, more voluminous. So for extensions I'm using the Bellamy hair in Bellamisa which I'll be putting in four clips for the ponytail. So first I'm going to be applying the two clip width first and what you do you just wrap it around the ponytail that you just put it up and you just continue the clips um, over and over and over until you reach to the end and after that I'm using the um, another two four clip widths and then at the very end I just applied um, a last three clip width I am safe without the sound Now your ponytail is complete for now, so now we're going to move on with the bangs. So I just grabbed um, the strands of bangs that I have and I just um, um, put it up and I just twist it a little and then push it forward and then once you have that bumble um, look, you just grab some body pins and you just clip it up. Now for the braids, I just do like two single um, strands of braids, like just simple, not French braids, so I just like do like a simple braid on the side of my hair. Once you're done with the first braid, you just um, tie it up in an elastic band, and you just continuously do this um, again on the on the bottom of the first braid that you just did. And just do the same process like I just showed you and on, like on the other side as well. And, uh, and I'll show you how, um, how this look will complete um, once I'm done with these braids. <laughs> Now you just combine everything all together along with the extensions with the ponytail that you just did earlier. And all you do is just like bring it all in into one single ponytail. And I'm just grabbing a fat elastic band that will match the hair so it doesn't show. And I would just apply um, bobby pins in case um, there's some flyaways or um, some part of the hair that you don't even like just to cover it. And after that, I just applied um, some hairspray just to make it stay. And once you've um, you're finished, then you're all done. And that's how you get this look. <laughs>
So that is the final result for the makeup and hair. I hope you guys really do enjoy this video. So give this video a huge thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel. And of course, um, follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, which I'll put it in the, in the description box below. And also I'll be mentioning the products and the hair products that I've used throughout this tutorial for makeup and hair as well on the description box. And thank you so much for watching. And until next time. I will talk to you guys later, and happy Thanksgiving! Bye! Let's go.